It is. We've already set through one uh, weather delay here, but they think that at least uh, there's enough break to maybe get a game in. So we're going to get started here shortly. It's uh, overcast, and I stepped out a moment ago. We're at field level, folks, and I've been doing this for 50 years. It will be the first time I've ever broadcast at field level, but we are literally uh, right behind home plate and uh, the ground. If I could reach through the window, which I can't. But if I could, I can touch the ground right there. Well, it's a, an interesting uh, vantage point for sure, and we've been told that a pass ball can really scare you <laughs> if it hits the window. So a little scream or okay, yeah, well, uh, I, something like that, well, I'll apologize for in advance. Well, Adam's always been fearful. You know, <laughs> I, think, I think there's a chance. Adam's right here to our right uh, with the video. And again, he's videoing from ground level. So if you're sitting home watching this this afternoon, uh, it's, it's a pretty unique perspective from uh, what you normally see because uh, he'll be right behind, he is right behind home plate directly. Ball be coming right at him, and then uh, when he takes off, you can kind of see it from, from the player's perspective. But the White Faces with two great wins, Lane you did a super job last weekend. That boy, they beat the district champs, the Andrews Mustangs, the very place we're playing here today. Yeah, it was a it was a lot of fun. Uh, some really good play from both sides of the ball from the herd. A really, I personally felt like they were in rhythm. You know, much better than than we'd seen pretty much all season, and then uh, some of the players felt the same uh, talking with them afterwards. So uh, anyway, we are uh, getting ready to get this thing going. The White Faces, the visiting team today, so we'll be batting first, and uh, as has led off for the herd all season, freshman uh, shortstop and uh, pitcher for the White Faces, Caleb Ramirez will get things going. He's uh, facing off today against Andres Navarrete for the San Elizario Eagles. All right, here we go. First pitch of the afternoon, scheduled for seven. Twin bill today, weather permitting. Inside gets away from the catcher. Down to second base goes Caleb. One ball and no strike, so no reason to sacrifice Blunt. Now we got the man in scoring position. Big hulking figure came in behind him. It happened to be some guy named Kevin, who's some kind of Methodist preacher. Squares to Blunt, takes it inside and high. Two balls. Oh, call strike one. One and one. Wow. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Good a little you. delayed strike call there, but it is one and one now as DJ steps back in. Top of the first, scheduled for seven, Herford and San Elizario for the right to play Randall next weekend. First to butt again, bunts it back foul into the screen, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Not a real good attempt there by DJ as he didn't really get very well squared around. Yeah, DJ not going to fall behind in this one, especially with a, uh, a, a foul bunt like that. One and two to count. Till Bryant waits on deck. He's kind of been the offensive hero for the White Faces in the playoffs. Certainly was last weekend with five RBIs and that uh, opening win over Andrews. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Grounded to short. Off goes Kevin. They can't get him there. The throw to first, and it is in time just by an instant. They get him at first base. The third baseman almost made a critical error there. Benny Gonzalez. He tried to tag Caleb. And in so doing, delayed his throw to first for a moment, and it was really close to the first base, but he got it. One gone now, and uh, Caleb is 90 feet away from the first score of the afternoon as Tell steps in. Right, the third baseman, he's a sophomore. Caleb's a freshman. Trying to give the white bases the early lead here in the top of the first. Stretch, the pitch. Curve ball, ground in the third. He's coming home. Here comes the throw. Should have him. Nope, don't get it. Bad throw hopped in there. And Caleb scores down to first base on the fielder's choice. Goes the white faces tail Bryant, and it's a one nothing ball game with a run across and one man out here in the top of the first. Yeah, just a really bad throw from third there uh, to home, and Caleb not even sliding or anything, just walking in for the first run of the ball game. So the white faces now with the tail down at first base, bringing Carlos to the plate. White face senior who has been, well, he's played some great baseball the last four years. Here is the senior. He's the starting pitcher this afternoon, as he was against Andrews uh, last week. Face is uh, batting here at the top of the first. Going to bring up a sophomore second baseman, Noah Zamora. Noah, one of the lefties on the squad, and really a great ball player. He is indeed. The uh, right-handed pitcher, uh, Navarrete, is out on the mound. He's got two gone, a run across, and a runner at first base as Noah steps in, fouls it right back above us, one strike another. Honestly, a pretty good vantage point here. I mean, even with the 
the, the depth perceptions about the only thing that I'd say is a negative about all this, because you cannot tell sometimes how deep fly balls are or aren't. But it's one strike to count with a runner at first and two gone. Pitch, pop center field should be played with center fielder drifting over, gets there, makes the grab on the run, and that's the third out. The light bases score a run on one hit. There's one error, there's one left on base. We've played one. It's one for the light bases, and the Eagles come to bat back in 60 seconds. with you, the White Faces with a one-run lead after the first half inning. I mean, Caleb Ramirez comes all the way around after a uh, single to get him on base. And that takes us to the oh, bottom half. Almost, almost got that wild of the first. Yeah. And uh, going to be shortstop Julian Morales leading off for uh, San Elizario. Left fielder Javier Salais. And uh, Benny Gonzalez will be batting third. Again, as Tom mentioned, senior Carlos Dunant going to get the uh, start on the hill today. Costa back behind the plate as, uh, again, Carlos has just been splendid for the white faces. And he, he gets that 6-1 win over... Uh, he did very efficient, yeah. 7 Ks, uh, maybe sniffed 90 pitches in it, uh, but really threw a pretty good game. Well, he's just been he, he's an excellent baseball player. In addition to that, I'd say about Carlos, uh, he's just a fine young man. I, you know, you, you're a senior, uh, you're a quarterback, and things don't go exactly the way you'd like them to go, and he just kept on keeping on like he does. And just got to admire Carlos. He, he's a good, good guy, an outstanding baseball player. We've got tail down at third. Uh, Caleb's at short. Noah's over at second base, and Javen at first. In the outfield, the White Faces have uh, Cisneros out in the left, Ramirez, DJ in center, and uh, Ethan in right. Throw up toss, throw down to second base, and here we go. Still, right uh, go ahead, Tom. No, I'm just going to say right hand for Chevy first. All right, folks, the White Face D, first time this afternoon. White Faces. is. Uh, 19 wins on the season, but just need two more to get to meet up with the Randall Raiders once again. Randall winning handily yesterday and today. First pitch. Call strike one. Boy, I cannot. <laughs> I'm telling you, the ball is back to the mound before he gets his arm up. If you're watching on uh, video at home with Adam right next to us, it takes a while. One strike and nothing on the leadoff hitter. Morales, he's a righty. I guess the righty, and there's a ball off, swung on and missed, and it's 0 and 2. No balls and two strikes. Overcast skies. Wind now has lessened a little bit, I believe. And we're just hoping, Lane, that uh, we hope that Lane's done a good job with the weather here. Hope that at least get through one this afternoon. Absolutely. Two will do. Oh, he swings and misses, and it's it was not Four caught, there. and he'll be on first base on the wild pitch. It's a curveball down in the dirt. Marcos points at himself. It's his fault, but obviously it was not. The ball hit out and he uh, almost owned the plate, and uh, he just couldn't handle it. It was the swinging third strike, and down to first base goes the leadoff hitter, Morales. So uh, it's not how you get on, it's just if you get on. And he's there. Runner at first, and nobody out. Driven up by a run, we're in the bottom of the first. The stretch by Carlos. Our squares. Takes a call, strike one, I believe. Yep. 
Let's try it again. And that's left fielder Javier uh, Salais. Salais is a right-handed hitter as well. And he's probably going to try to bunt the runner along here. At least that's what he did. Big lead over at first base. Scratch the pitch, he butts it, and it is foul. And it's no balls and two strikes. So 0 and 2 the count now as uh, Carlos has thrown five pitches and all five have been strikes. Unfortunately, one of them's in the dirt, swinging in and out of uh, with the runner at first base. This is uh, he's the left fielder. Left fielder, yeah. Left fielder for the Eagles, San Rosario. Coming here to face the White Faces today. Two strikes the count. Swinging strike three. There's one gone. Just throwing a letter high fastball right past him. Lots of speed on that after a couple curves. Uh, definitely has caught these batters off guard. The uh, starter for San Elizario, a little less velocity uh, for sure than Carlos. So not sure how many you know really hard pitchers they see practice wise and stuff. Benny Gonzalez steps in. He's the third baseman. He's loaded up there at the plate. Swings at the first pitch and flies it to right field. And the ball's caught up in the wind. We don't get there. Going to fall for a single. And we got the runner at second base. What a play by Ethan in right field. He fired it to second base. The runner had to hold it first. And he got it there just in the nick of time. And so instead of a, a base hit, it's actually a fielder's choice with two men gone and a runner at first base and the first to Benny Gonzalez. Yeah, Sube all day with the throw out there. Had a really good a heads up play like that last week, getting a runner out on the on the bases. I don't know. The wind has it's just pretty non existent. I don't know if that thing there's a throw in the first base Gonzalez back in plenty of time. I don't know if it got caught up in the breeze or something, but uh, Ethan kinda didn't run to it. And then when it hit, he just fired into second base and forced the runner there. Two gone runner at first. Left at the plate now as Carlos is ready. Pass ball and it is call strike one. On the outside corner, that's it. What is that? the location. Yeah, he really has. One strike and nothing now on the four hole hitter for the Eagles and one nothing perfect lead in the bottom of the first. The stretch by Duran. Check. The pitch. Call strike two. No balls and two strikes. So uh, he's not wasting a pitch out there. That time he got on the inside of that fastball, and it's 0-2. Once again, from the stretch, Gonzalez edges away at first base. He steps off the mound now, wants to go again. I face him, get the pitches out of the mound. Uh, we got the armband on, but they signal out to the pitcher. Here's the two-strike pitch now, delivered. Swinging strike three, and that's out number three. And down go the Eagles here. In this first inning of play, no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We have played through one. The light bases lead it. One nothing. We're back in 60 seconds. Ready to go at inning number two, scheduled for seven. It's one nothing the good guys after one of me. It is a uh, six hole hitter, Marcos Acosta, up to the plate. Always kind of surprises me he's in the six hole. He's just such a great batter and has had a, a really uh, about a 500 average all year. So hopefully he uh, can get things going for us here in the second. It's a great catcher as well. Really good behind the plate. Here's the first offering to him to start at the top of the second. Fastball, he grounds it, chops it to third. Gonzalez should make the play. Gets a Sunday hop 
throws to first, pulls the runner off. Nope, he stayed on the bag. One man gone. That was pretty close down there. The first baseman leaving the bag. It sure was. Trying to get that throw from Gonzalez. I mean, Gonzalez, you couldn't have handed it to him. He bounced right up eye level high, and he nearly threw it away. I saw him trimming a little grass earlier, so that's a, a member's bounce out here. Yeah, <laughs> okay. One out here is Jamie. Pitches inside, almost hit him. He jumps back. It's one ball, no strikes. One nothing Herford, top of the second. Again, the first of two scheduled weather permitting here this afternoon. The wind up the pitch. Swinging, foul ball back over the screen, out of play. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Like base first baseman, junior, Jaden Gonzalez is the bat. Or Jaden uh, Lopez. Lopez is the bat. Steps back in now, one and one count. Pitch, curveball, nice pitch. Yeah, strike two. Pitch there. One ball and two strikes. Standing back in now, we've got four of the full four man umpiring crew here today. Ooh, pitch, did it hit it? Hit something. They're going to call off the end of this bat, I think. I think that's what it hit, but the umpire never indicated it was a strike. He changed his. Uh, Ball strike count. I watched him with his left hand there, so the count shows one and two on the scoreboard. So stepping back in now is Jaden. One ball, two strike count. One man out, nobody on curveball. Woo, say it was over his head, back to the screen. Nearly got out. Thank goodness out of his foot of his phone, so it didn't scare him. Two and two count now. As Jaden ready to stand back in. No Josiah, no Danielle, no Anastasia. I mean, it's just poured out all by itself. I don't know how he Two, two count, one out, nobody on, one nothing ball game, top of the second. Wind up the pitch. Oh, curveball out of Dickie. Oh, he just, he's, oh, he's hitting on his right hand. He's down to first base now. He says he's okay, but man, he's not quite okay. He's down now. He bends at the knees. He gets down there. That thing got in on him. I think it hit. I don't know if it hit his left arm. I think it did. Or, I mean, his right arm, I'm sorry, which means uh, you know, it missed the front arm. Yeah, he he's holding his right arm. Yeah. Well, he's at first with one out. I mean, he tried to hit him two pitches in a row, and he got him that time. So, taking one from the team as Ethan steps in. From the left side, runner at first, one out, one nothing ball game, top of the second. I'm sorry, KJ steps in. KJ, a DH. KJ is the lefty. He squares the butt. It's high for a ball, one ball with no strikes. My face is playing small ball here early. Trying to bunt the runners along, although, again, Navarrete uh, having a little trouble with his control. One ball, no strikes. Squares the butt, takes it for a call, strike one. One ball and one strike. KJ was taking it all the way. Sophomore steps away, looks to third. He's got the notes on his back. I'm bewildered by the How did you do it, Tom? We didn't. I, I don't know. We didn't do that. I'm not sure. One and one count. Way wide, ball two. I don't I really don't know. I mean, we had signals and all, but I, I don't know what they're looking at as the hitter when he looks in his back pocket and looks at whatever the note is. Adam probably knows he's on the inside like that. <laughs> Two balls and a strike, one in first base is Lopez. He leads the way. Got a pretty good lead. Pitch, swinging, strike two. The fastball about a letter high on the outside and couldn't catch up with it. Yeah, KJ took a big rip at that one. Hey, the weather looks a little better than it did when we started. It sure does. A little, uh, little brighter out now. Two balls, two strikes, one out, runner first. Let's see if we send him. Nope. Pitching five, all three, three and two. We're well, already really all over the place. I mean, when he misses, he misses big. Yeah, Tom, we really didn't work him much in the last uh, inning. Lots of uh, first first pitch, you know, movement, but have uh, worked him pretty good here in the, the top of the season. Right-handed hitter. Runner at first, two gone now. One other lead for the white bases in the top of the second. First pitch, grounded foul down the third base line. One strike now. Yeah, Sube all day, uh, one of two freshmen that start for the herd. And uh, got a good rip at that one, but needs to straighten it out. He steps back in. Made a heads up play after uh, 
not being able to play a fly ball in that bottom of the first, threw the runner from first out of second base. He started to go, did he? Nope. One ball, one strike. Have to wait till the ball gets back to the pitcher to make sure the umpire doesn't <laughs> have to run but he did. One and one count, runner at first, now Lopez leads away. Fly ball, well hit, left field, left fielder should make the grab, dives, can't come up with it. Now picks it up, throws to third base. The runner is safe there down to second base. On the two backer goes Ethan. And the right bases have runners at second and third and two out. The left fielder is still down. Unfortunate of that, fortunate out of that. He missed play. I mean, he could not make the play on the ball, but the ball hit the ground and then Stop. kind of bounced yeah. off of him and stayed right there. Otherwise, I would have surely gotten a run and Ethan would have wound up at third base. But as it is, there's runners at second and third and two down, but the left fielder for uh, San Elisario is on the ground and the training staff is out there to look after him. His outfield teammates have run over to check on him. This is how the world works. The outfielders went to check on him. The infielders all gathered on the infield to talk to each other. So they're going to let the outfielders take care of it. Now the third base umpire is going out to see. Um, I I'm checking his leg. Yeah, it looks like his leg that they're looking at. I, I would have thought he might have hurt a shoulder or something as he dove. Now, yeah. my thoughts exactly where I, I was thinking, gosh, I hope he didn't snap a collarbone diving yeah. like that, you know, and it looked to me, it looks like they would be on his leg. leg. Yeah. He has not gotten up. Now they got the help him to his feet. And he seems to be okay. Yeah. He's going to walk it off and we'll continue here. Yeah. Well, he didn't get up until the moment they gave him a hand and got him up, and now he seems to be quite fine. You know, stay in the ball game. So I'm glad he's okay. I will say there was a great deal of drama in <laughs> all of that. But uh, Javier Salas is still uh, going to be in the ball game. There, folks come back. White faces now will send the nine-hole hitter to the plate. We're actually. I'm yeah. sorry, with Caleb coming to the plate. Caleb, who's single the first time around, so we're back to the top of the order. Good spot to be. Let's now, Ramirez to the back. First pitch to him. Swinging, blind shot, base hit, right field. I'd score at least one. Around third base comes to the plate. Here comes the throw in from the outfield. It won't be in time. It winds up being a clean single for DJ. Wow. Two runs scored. It's 3 nothing. Herford. Teach you to walk the man ahead of me. By awesome. <laughs> Great job. I mean, the line shot between first and second. And the white faces lead it 3 to nothing, And the inning keeps on. Yeah, Jay and Lopez, Ethan Sube all day coming across there. And uh, Caleb now over at third. Yeah. Knocking at the door once again. First and third, the tail strokes to the plate. He can ride one out of here right now. Runners at first and third, 3 0 Herford lead in the top of the second. Trading out before he steps back in, the right hander now, ready to face Navarrete. Runners at first and third. Pitch high for a ball, one ball with one strike. Almost spoke too soon. I, he hadn't thrown the ball back to the pitcher yet, but he said it high. <laughs> I thought I might, I might have missed it, but I did. One and one now. As tail slips back in. Not feels deep, swung around the left. It's 3.30 down the line, 3.75 in the left end. Uh, runner at first, two out, the count of 2-1 one, one, one on the tail. Hits the run. I fly ball, center field playable. It will be hard to judge, and I thought that one was way deeper than yep. it was. I did too, and, and the clouds, I'll tell you, also make it very difficult to pick the ball up right now, I'm sure. Lights are on, but it is overcast. Here's the pitch to Carlos. It is called strike one. So you can throw it about a letter high here, and you're going to get the strike call. He's been very consistent on um, as his first inning and high. Here's the stretch. Five nothing, Herbert. One, two out. All this has happened with two out. Tell really messing around down at first base. He got pretty far down toward the second there before retreating. It's a one and one count on Carlos. Ran a good hit, a good power. They faces go here in the second, but not before they get four more runs. They get them on.
Boston now lead this thing five to zero going into the uh, bottom half of the second inning. Yep, that was a two out rally there, you'll recall. Um, yeah. And the White Mason scored four runs after two were out to take the five out of the lead. Carlos finishing up his warm up tosses here. Going to face the center fielder Elias, then Melendez, then Montero. I think he can get it there in time. He can. On one hop. Nice play by Tell. It really Back was. Back that thing and kind of stumbled. Got up and made the throw, hopped it over there, and Jaden did a great job of digging it out of the dirt, but it's an infield single. I think Tell got a little caught up with his feet on the base there, uh, otherwise would have had yeah. a gold glove play. Really made a nice backhanded stop. Runner at first now, nobody out to lead off this second inning, down 5 nothing. The Eagles need to get something going offensively here in the bottom of the second. Carlos trying to keep that from happening. First pitch is a call, strike right down the middle. I don't even have to wait for the war races yeah. on that guy. Pretty good from Carlos there. One strike and nothing. Tom and Lane field level here in Andrews, turf field. I mean, pardon me, a grass field. And it looks like turf field. Yeah, it does. Tom squares the butt, pops it up, and it's grabbed. It got in there, throw the first, double play. So, Way two to go. Go. Little pop up butt, nice play by Carlos Runner at first base. I don't know what he was thinking. He was almost to second base when the uh, butt was caught, and he had no chance, and so they're two gone. And that uh, easy play for Carlos there. It was Carlos? Carlos can play baseball, man. He knew what to do. Got there, made the grab, and then wheeled through Jim over at first to double off the runner. Two gone. As a Montero, the second sacker steps in. He's a righty. First pitch. Call strike one. Had to wait on that one. In the outside part of the plate there, but uh, a I'm, nice fastball from Carlos. I've just got to look it out of the bottom signal strike. I know it's a strike, so <laughs> I don't have to worry. One strike and nothing, two out, nobody on, five, nothing Herbert in the um, bottom of the second. Swinging strike two of a fastball, and it's 0 and 2. Whiteface is trying to win for the 20th time this season, but more importantly, trying to get themselves to the next round of playoffs against the uh, Randall Raiders, who won earlier today, the clinch. Noise for you, but yeah. we are uh, enclosed here down at field level, as Tom has mentioned. Really a pretty, I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's great. I love it. it it's a great place to be. It really is. I do wish we had a little crowd noise for you because there's a lot of different folk up in the stands behind yeah, us. Yeah, we can't hear them. Up above us. First pitch to start the inning is high. Hey, ball. What? It came into. Did you hear that, folks? Did you hear that? No. <laughs> we were warned, but we weren't adequately warned. My gosh, it sounded like a cannon. One ball and no strikes. White face will pop up. <laughs> that was loud, loud. This is Noah, the second baseman in Zora. He takes a pitch for a ball and a strike. I'll tell you, not ready. When he misses, man, he misses by a mile. Yeah, that was, the catcher had no chance to come. One ball, one strike on the leadoff hitter. Five, nothing Herbert. Swinging strike two by Noah. And it's a ball and two strikes. No, we're chasing one uh, up out of the zone. That hit, you know, kind of a hitter's pitch there. One we've got to lay off on. One ball and two strikes. Now the wind up the pitch. Last ball calls inside. Ball one. Ball two. Huh? I don't thought that was a strike too. Did you? The look on his face. I've gotten the, the text of the day. Coach Delosier just called me a big baby for screaming. You know? There's a pitch call, strike three on the outside corner, one man gone, leadoff batter gone, here in the top of the third. A text from Coach Delosia, and then moments before that, one for Chris, ESPN, <laughs> welcoming me back. Uh, well, Chris had a commercial break from reporting on TV. Fight face with Marcos Acosta with one out, nobody on here in the third, Urban up 5 nothing. First pitch, 
inside corner, the call strike one, one strike another. Not already. Again, he either misses by a mile or he throws strikes. There's no in between. No balls and a strike. One gone, nobody on. Marcos, big swing, bounces it back over the screen, 0 2. Yeah, he's come out uh, with a little bit uh, more aggressive mentality here against the White Faces in this yeah. uh, third inning. But he's also thrown 40 pitches already this afternoon, wow. so we'll see some fatigue set in. This is the third inning, or seventh. There's a foul out of play by Marcos. Well, that's an hour out of the story. It's not the line. Here's the pitch, wide ball two, two balls and two strikes. Good eye from Carlos there, working back in this one after being down 0-2 uh, and then fouling a couple off. Marcos stands back in again. Uh, not field is just about, just about straight away from here. 2-2 two -two pitch about to be delivered by Navaretti here at the top of the third. Line shot, right center field, extra bases. That one's off the wall on one hop. Around first base, even for second, he's going to go for three. Ball's all the way to the fence. Not going to be a play at all. He goes lumbering in wow. the third base. He's starting to slide and then <laughs> takes a bow over at third base. Nice job by Marcos Acosta. Just a hammered ball there out to right center and every bit of 375 to yeah. the fence. Boy, right in the corner. They're going to courtesy run for him. I think they're going to do that because they just saw him go into third base and nearly, uh, nearly Pull call him out. <laughs> <laughs> going to bring in uh, Isaac Dominguez right. to uh, hopefully finish things out for Marcos here at third. All right, Isaac's at third base with one out, and Javen stepping to the plate. Lopez has scored the first time around. He stands in now with uh, one gone, a runner at third, a 5 nothing perfect lead here in the top of the third. Not ready, ready. Body lines and delivers. It's a call, strike one. One strike, another. Yeah, good pitch from not ready there. Uh, just, just getting the outside part of the plate. Always fun. Yeah. So, uh, make bases now. Lopez has a count of two balls and one strike. There's one out, nobody on. We are in the third. We are scheduled for seven. White bases lead it six to nothing. Wind up the pitch. Tip back into the screen, and it's two balls and two strikes. We had added no trips to the That was on the other side, and I didn't even jump. <laughs> but it was mine, too. 2-2. Two -two. The pitch to Jake. Curveball, oh, he chased it, and he swings and misses. Strike three. Dug out of the dirt, pulled down the first place, just in time to get him. And there's two men gone. The catcher was heading back to the dugout. Yeah, he thought that was three. Yeah. That was three. And he's even asking the umpire now, was that three? And it was three strikes, but it wasn't three outs. Two outs, nobody on. Six nothing Herbert. Going to be a DH KJ Flores up to that. Now KJ uh, struck out his first time around for one on the afternoon. He's a lefty, batting against now already here for the second time. First pitch is high for ball, one ball and no strikes. Next team up with pitches here too, which is a chore in and of itself. It's number 50 there. Carlos, I think he's throwing about 15. That's, that's a pretty good disparity. The wind up the pitch. Five ball two, two balls and no strikes. So suddenly now Reddy loses the strike zone as the left hander steps up. Six nothing Herford lead. Again, we are in the third. Cloud covered, but dry. Andrews Mustang field at the moment. Pitch is wide ball three, three balls and no strikes. Oh, ooh, call strike one, two balls and one strike. Well, that's one we could see there. That, 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 that was a little bit. A little bit west of home plate, but uh, two balls and a strike. Not already winds and delivers. Right down the middle, that one's fouled off the catcher. It's two and two. So already battling back. Two balls, two strikes. This team down by six here at the top of the third. KJ Flores, the sophomore DH for the White Bases at the plate. Now ready, ready. Winds and delivers the 2 2. Oh my God. All the way back into the screen here and poor Adam. He's crying. <laughs> I've never seen Adam. Kind of tears. That one came right into the plexiglass, right where Adam Payne had to stand. You know, I think they test him off the bounce. I don't oh, know if the direct <laughs> if the direct <laughs> shot will hold up all night. So. Three, three and two again. I mean, he missed it by a mile. Three two, the strike zone. I mean, 
here's the payoff pitch to KJ. And this small forward, he's down to first base. Two men gone. Like bases have something going here. The two away as uh, he trots down to first. And Ethan steps to the plate. Yeah, Sube Aldea had a single his first time up, so uh, one for one on the afternoon, got a runner on and two away. And he hit, he hit that lace, that line drive in the left field that the left fielder dove for and yep. didn't make the play on. And that really got the inning going when we scored four runs there. We scored one here in the third. We have a runner at first, two down, and Ethan steps to the plate. Runner down in first base, uh, KJ. Edge away again. Uh, Navarrete is a right hander. You haven't seen him throw the first base yet. He doesn't have much of a lead there, so he probably won't hear it. Yes. Oh, he hits it right in the back. Oh, goodness. Fastball came sailing inside. Ethan is number six, and that hit right in that middle of that six. So, oh, ooh. So, base on balls now hit batsman, and now we bring uh, Caleb to the plate top of the order. They walked him intentionally. He singled the first time. They walked him intentionally the last time. They put the left fielder literally at the base of the fence. I'm telling you, they fear Caleb. The infield all gets back deeper, and the freshman steps to the plate. Well, maybe we can see another two-out rally here. Why not? Why not? Caleb had to do a little handy work there. Gets his uh, Batting glove on, gets squared away, the right hander steps in, he's one for one officially. Now time called by the San Elizario manager, coach, he's going out to the mound to talk. Again, the white faces with two outs here, got something going in this uh, third inning of play. Yeah, KJ taking his base on balls and then the first pitch uh, hit on uh, Ethan there. Keep this thing going for Herford again, uh, Caleb. And DJ Ramirez on deck, who had a two RBI single, and then Tell Bryant would follow if we keep this thing rolling. So, in a, a really good part of the lineup to see a two out rally. On plate umpire, he's had the discussion going long enough, so he walked out to the mound. Uh, I really don't know what the discussion was about, honestly, at this point. He's walked about or hit about her. I guess they're trying to settle him down a little bit, but. Uh, going to have to find the, the strike zone here is not a red or he's going to get himself in some even deeper trouble. Trading six to nothing at the moment. Umpire back and ready to get his position behind home plate. Caleb steps in and not a red ready to work. Runners at first and second, two away. They'll be off the crack of the bat. Here's the stretch. Oh, he swings the fastball, misses it. One strike and nothing. Had one there. Caleb would like to have that one back. Yeah, I think so. He would have he would have laid off at watching it again. One strike and nothing on the white face freshman shortstop. Runners lead the pitch. Curveball wide the ball. One ball and one strike. Caleb level on the count. The runners at first and second lead away. Even at uh, first base. KJ over at KJ second. At second. Here's the stretch. The one and one pitch. Fly ball deep, center field, but it's right at the center field, but it's way back, way back, and he makes Three ninety-five to center field lane. And he hit that ball on a line three hundred and eighty-nine feet. So I fish your count. Yeah, Caleb. Anywhere looked. else it was out of the ballpark. And as you had just mentioned, if uh, it weren't for the Eagles playing so so deep, I think that one for sure at least would have uh, been a double, if not a triple. Yep. So here we go. Bottom of the third, up six nothing. The Lakers are. This is a tour. 
It's going to be uh, De La Torre, DH for the Eagles. De La Torre is the DH. He's a righty. His first time up. He is choked up on the bat. That's a 34-inch bat. He's got about 27 inches of it left to hit with. Last ball just outside it. Nope. Call strike two on the corner. No balls and two strikes. What am I going to learn not to anticipate the call? 0 oh and 2. Leadoff batter for the Eagles in the third. The White Base is up 6 0. The first game of a best of three series. The stretch and the pitch. And he's chasing the fastball out of the strike zone. One man gone. Sweet and a real high fastball there. He'd taken two pretty good pitches. Yeah. And he swung at one about mm, Capville high. One gone, and now we're to. Uh, we're in the nine hole. Okay. Oscar or uh, had a double play that, uh, that lasted. Mm -hmm. He needs a confirmation. Right? Here's the stretch. And the senior delivers. Swing, strike. Out of the screen. <laughs> Mark has got his mask off and couldn't find it. He was frantically looking. It wasn't in play, but he was going to make sure it wasn't. Carlos and really bringing some heat these last couple of pitches. He is. He seems very comfortable out there. I've looked for a breaking pitch right here. 0 and 2, one out, two strikes on the batter. Here is the windup, the pitch. It's a curveball. He chased it down in the dirt. Go down to first base at plenty of time, and there are two gone. He threw in that uh, curveball. He about did. 61 feet, I'd say. And nice play by Marcos to dig it out of the dirt. And there's two gone. Yeah, we're back to the top now. Uh, Julian Morales, shortstop. Yeah, he's the right-handed hitting shortstop of the Eagles. And he's officially 0 for 1. But again, good reach, as Wayne said. When we missed the third strike. Here's the line, up the pitch. Grounded out in front of the plate. That'll be a tough play. I don't think we can get it. Go to first. They do. They do get it. around the baseball playoffs, a uh, best of three series here, the White Faces and the Eagles of San Elizario. Uh, in game one, we uh, were delayed a little bit with the lightning uh, delay, but have pretty much made up time. I think this game is, is clicking along uh, just fine, and the White Faces now going into the fourth with a six-run lead over San Elizario. And it'll be uh, DJ Ramirez to lead it off. He single and drove in two runs. First time around after they intentionally walked Caleb. Here's the wind up and already the pitch, line shot, shortstop, picks it up, fires across the diamond. Curve ball, low and away, ball one. One ball and no strikes. Outfield pretty much straight away, but again, very, very deep here are the Eagles for these light base hitters. The wind up, the pitch. Inside, nearly hitting. You know, just kind of gracefully moved out of the way. Two balls and no strikes on the late base sample. Stands back in now, now we're ready, ready to work. Two balls, no strikes, nobody on here at the top of the fourth. And there's a swinging foul ball down the first baseline on a plate. And the jump goes to two balls and a strike. That was like a good rip at it. He just didn't quite get on that one. Yeah, a little delayed on that one. Yeah, the lights are on here. It's a very overcast, but so far the weather has cooperated. The wind up and the pitch to tell. Call strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Good last ball about belt high. Tell took it. So now counts level. I'm ready and in fourth inning work. Bring up five hits, six runs to the white bases. The pitch. Curveball, foul tip, just got a little teeny tiny piece of that curveball, stay alive, two and two. Close to the ram, weights on deck. 
I'm ready back to the hill. Two ball, two strike count. Keep your right hander binds and delivers to Bryant. Uh, well hit center field, but it's going to drop for a hit single in the ball game. Edges away with a man out. Squares the butt and butts it. Wow, hits him in the batter's pocket. One one count now. Here's the pitch. He swings at this one and misses, and it's a ball and two strikes. Big cut on that one. Yeah, I think he said it real well. I think that ball was one that he he would have hit nine times out of ten when he swung through the fastball just about chest high. A ball and two strikes. Tail edges away at first base. They're stretched by the already. Here comes the pitch, and it's flying to center field. Well oh, hit, way back, way back. That Caught ball over is it. out. No, he caught it over the, the shoulder. Catch it. I'll be darned. Just short of the fence. I didn't think he had a chance at that. That's two balls in there, so. He did. Wow. Rather nonchalantly. There's the first pitch called strike one to uh, Noah. He bats with two out and a runner at first here at the top of the fourth. The White Face is leading six to nothing. A couple of big blasts that have been run down in the outfield by San Elizario. There's a pitch back to the screen. Tell take his base tell, there. Tell trots to second base in scoring position now with a one and one count on KJ. Two men gone. Uh, not already is a real, real enigma to me in that call strike three, and that's Ooh. out number three. And the white faces go down here in the fourth. No runs. Uh, one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. We played halfway. White faces lead at six nothing. Back. In one minute. And Carl is ready to work again. Tom, just for reference, uh, again, as you mentioned, you know, uh, Navarrete has, he's had some really pretty pitches this afternoon and had just some absolutely wild ones that we've uh, almost ate here <laughs> in the uh, ground level press box, but he's also thrown 72 wow. already uh, through, uh, yeah. yeah, compared to uh, Carlos has been just really, really effective for the white faces. Are you ready? 24 wow. through three. Eight pitches an inning. He's given up a hit and uh, no runs. Again, uh, white face pitching in these two plus playoff games. Now the two uh, against uh, Andrews. Now here today, he's just given up one run for the first two two games and four innings here today. First pitch in the bottom of the fourth, a curve ball and it's low for ball. One ball with no strikes. Elias, the left fielder, is the leadoff hitter. He's now once and struck out. He's on the right side and bats. Carlos, Carlos uh, six Ks on the afternoon so far. He'd like to start this inning off with his seventh, and he's well ahead on the count at one and two. Again, from the stretch, and now time called at the last moment. Way. Woo! Too long, too late, way too late. I'm oh, telling you. Know, he tells the hitter that not going to happen again. Shouldn't happen then. Carlos was coming to the plate, and the umpire let the batter out of time out. But uh, it was a shaky one at best. One ball, two strikes now. The leadoff hitter for the Eagles here in the bottom of the fourth. From the stretch, curveball called strike three. One man off. Great pitch from Carlos. Oh, nice pitch. Timeout just delayed the inevitable. 
Well, that's a good thing. Just shook that off like it was nothing and came right back into it. Yeah, he's Carlo is just pretty unflappable. He really is. He's just a steady Eddie out there, and again, throws lots of strikes. It's going to be uh, Benny Gonzalez who did have a single his first time around. Big third baseman stands in now to face Carlos for the second time. He delivers a curveball, beautiful pitch, call, strike one. Lots of movement on that breaking ball from Carlos today. Gonzalez was all wound up for the fastball and then just stood there as the curveball sailed by. One strike and nothing. Costa chatting with the home plate umpire about something. One out, nobody on here in the bottom of the four. Six nothing white bases. You ran from the stretch. That's a fly ball into right field. Keep it open. Makes a nice little running grab and there's two gone. So two away as uh, the Eagles send their cleanup hitter to the plate now. It's going to be a pitcher. Not by that day. Not by that day. He is the man. He is a left-handed hitter. Throws right. Bats left. He struck out the first time. And he bats with two men out and nobody on here in the bottom of the fourth. White face is up six to nothing. Carlos from the stretch. Delivers. Hard, hard one. fastball there. From the outside corner. Again, the plate is wide, but it's wide for both sides. I mean, he has uh, been very consistent. Yeah, certainly. You nothing get, to get mad about. No, really. no. One strike and nothing. If you're a hitter, you better be ready to swing. That's a uh, stretch the pitch. Fly ball into center field over his Ramirez. He makes a nice little money catch in right center field for the third out of the inning. Just like that, the Eagles are gone. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We played four, six nothing white bases back in one minute. Ready for his fifth inning work. Again, the right hander from 72 pitches unofficially. Coach Davis chatting with them here, and I'm sure they're talking about that late time. Just wants to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah. We're at the top of the fifth. The white faces have uh, Marcos coming to the plate. Marcos, uh, one for two on the day, a triple and then a ground out. He steps up there from the right side, ready to face not ready. Good, strong grip on that bat. He does first pitch is it was pretty far inside of all with two strikes. Marco steps back in. Again, you just better be ready to swing if you step up there. There's a pitch low in the dirt, gets away, but it matters not. Two balls and two strikes now. On the white face leadoff hitter here in the uh, top of the fifth. Marcos has been pretty close to about a 500 average all game. drives to the fence. Mr. Ling is going to get a chance to run again. Yeah, Isaac right. will come back in for him. Isaac Curtis, he ran for him after the triple had scored. And he's at second base now with uh, nobody out. And Javen Lopez stepping to the plate. We're in the top of the fifth. Lights are on again. It's overcast, but uh, after the Brief delay for lightning early on. We've been uh, right on schedule since. Javen from the right side. First pitch to him. He squares and bunch, bunch it right back to the pitcher. Pitcher up with it. Gonna throw the first and get him there just in the next Just time. barely. Wow. 
Marcos, uh, pardon me, Isaac moves over to third base to make this the courtesy runner. Nice bunt, sacrifice bunt to move the runner over to third base. Now the White Bases have a man 90 feet away, and stepping to the plate is uh, KJ. I mean, Jaden almost making the did. first base there. Uh, the pitcher kind of delayed on his move. And Nearly had first and third, nobody out. First pitch pile back over the screen, one strike and nothing on KJ. Again, it's hard to hard to make yourself pull your trigger on some of those. Honestly, it is. They're just a tough, tough pitch. There's a ball well hit. Left field, it's going to fall in foul three. Shortstop almost there making the play. He's yeah. running a long ways in, in the foul territory trying to run that thing down again. I tell you, man, with the, the great clouds that we've gotten, the ball's gotten a little, you know, scuffed up as we play along the balls out. It's hard to follow the baseball move either. Yeah, Sarah's going to come yeah. out and check on him. I'm going to play down first. That's stroll down to first base. I thought at first something had happened. I think he caught him up. Yep, yeah, he's pointing up around the. Adams out up there. That's not where you want to get hit if you're the home player, catcher, or whoever. He looks like. Yeah, he's okay, going to be okay, but he needed a breather. Sarah was holding up two fingers to yeah. make sure he, he stopped. <laughs> Sarah with knee brace on, that's not very comforting for the trainer to be yeah. you know, all bandaged up and all, too. He's okay. One and two the count. KJ will step back in. Isaac down at third base. There's one man gone. We're in the sixth. Or the fifth. I mean, part of the White Bases is up by sixth. That's not already come set from the stretch. Delivers on no strikes. 0 1 the count. We are in the fifth inning of play. We are scheduled for seven. This is the seven. This is the first of what will be a twin bill here this afternoon between the White Bases and the Eagles of San Elizario. There's a little looper out to the left field. Base hit. We're going to bring it in. Good job by Ethan as uh, Dominguez scores his second run of the ball game. It's a courtesy runner. White Faces lead it 7 0 and have a runner down at first base with two out. Just kind of looped it out there to the left field. Hit him yeah, with the ice. Uh, uh, 20 yards over the third base and 25 yards short of the left fielder. So that's pretty much it. Here we go, it's Caleb. Now he is single and walked intentionally in a drive to the base of the center field fence. Runner first and two gone. First pitch. Thought that was going to be ball. called. I did too. One ball, no strikes. Caleb steps back in. Even down at first base, edges away. Again, there's two gone, so he'll be off the crack of the bat. The stretch, the pitch. High pop fly in foul territory down the third baseline. Third baseman chases, gets to the fence, and clears the fence. And it's a ball of strikes. You can tell I'm telling you now. Caleb, uh, he is uh, thinking deep when he's yeah, saying he that. is. Now, he took a mighty whack at that one. Opted foul. He counts a ball of strike. And a runner at first base. Seven to nothing perfect here at the top of the fifth. Third. Yep, and maybe even bobbled in there. Third and third baseman able to make the play at third, not make the tag, but make the backhanded stop. That ball could have gone into the dugout. And it not been a good play there. So it's two and two. And all the way around to third comes Ethan. He had second base stolen. They threw Wiley in the center field. He couldn't find it for a minute. By the time he got up, the throw in came close, but not close enough. And now it's two two. And a base hit brings in the White Bases' eighth run of the afternoon. With two strikes now on Caleb. Does he get the curveball here? Pops it foul again. The pitch was in on his hands. He just got a piece of it to stay alive. The count stays at two balls, two strikes. Two men out, one on, seven nothing. Perfect. Top of the fifth. Again, I'm already ready to work. I've already gone, uh, this will be his 90 second throw here. Uh, that ball is looped out to right field, but it's going to be a foul. Right field runs a long way, can't get to it. And the count stays to it, too. And he third pitch, uh, so he's 16 away from. Yeah, should be, out. he'll be closing in pretty quick here and uh, stretch this out to 10 before we get there. Yeah. This is the fifth. Again, we're scheduled for seven. We've got seven runs across. 
Caleb with a 2 2 count, gonna smile him off a couple of pitches. Keep thinking he's gonna throw him a curveball, he hasn't. from Andrews, the white faces leading by seven here in the bottom of the fifth. And has really uh, been a fantastic showing from the uh, white face ace on the mound, Carlos Duran this afternoon. Uh, only throwing 32 pitches so far through uh, four innings. That is very good. That is, indeed. This is Elias, the center fielder, who's made a couple of nice catches out in center field here this afternoon. You'll lead it off for the Eagles in the bottom of the field. Again, it's seven on the earth. Carlos has given up one hit through the first four innings. He's been very efficient. Had some good defense behind him by the white bases. Here's the stretch. And the opening pitch of the inning is low in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Dug out of the dirt by Marcos. Lopez got it first. White base is uh, Noah's at second base. Caleb is short. Till third. One ball pitch now. Fly ball center field. Right in his strikes is Ramirez. And he makes the grab for out number one. Two pitches, one gone here in the fifth. As the Eagles now bring to the plate uh, Mendez, the catcher. He's catcher. Catcher. been up once and uh, popped out the first. So he stands at the plate with uh, Carlos working here in the bottom of the fifth, seven other white faces. Andrea Andrews. This is a grass field, but a very pretty grass field. First pitch is low. The ball, one ball and no strikes. Ball got away from The rare one away from the other Marcos there. I don't, I don't know. I, I thought the pitch was about knee high. Carlos looks over to the dugout. One ball, no strikes. He, he fell behind on the first hitter of the city, and he rarely does that. Uh, but he's behind the ball, no strikes here on Melendez. Pitch. Two balls and no strikes. I think if Marcos held on, it would have been a strike Three there. Two, yeah. uh, Marcos dropped it, and the uh, home plate umpire said it was too high. So it's two balls and no strikes. One man gone. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Again, the White Faces with a 7 0 lead over San Elizario here this afternoon. The winner of this series meets the Rattling Raiders. The ball fly to left field, well hit, but it is out of play. It counts the ball in two strikes. Is that right, I think it should be. It's going to be two balls, one strike. Yeah. Right. Oh, the scoreboard's got it. got it wrong, I think. They got a ball in two strikes, one out. Around ready to work again. Curve ball and a swing, strike three. I guess one of those pitches he called was strike three. I think he called the one that uh, Marcos dropped there. Okay. So well, good for him. That's a strikeout in the second out of the inning. As the Eagles continue to have their troubles solving uh, the mystery that is Carlos Duran out on the mound for the late base. Eight Ks through uh, into the fifth. Pretty spectacular job so far. Second baseman for the Eagles bats now, two out, nobody on. Curveball, one pitch, one strike, and another out. Just throws him in his tracks, a Philly. Oh, and one the count. Yeah, they're going to try to play two here tonight, weather permitting. And if they're split, they may have to play again tomorrow in some sort of mismatch, I think. There's the stretch of the pitch, and there's a foul tip, and it's 0 and 2. No balls and two strikes on the second sacker for the Eagles. Batting here in the bottom of the fifth. His club down 7 nothing. One hitter thus far. Eight Ks, did you say? For Eight Ks for Carlos this afternoon. Eight of the uh, 14 outs have been strikeouts. 
and he's ahead 0-2 now on the Eagles' second baseman. Carlos looks to the plate, gets the sign, throws the curveball. It's a call. Strike wow. And that, there go the Eagles here in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. We played five at seven. White base is up 7 0. Not ready back out there. He's in the 90s on the pitch count. 90s on the pitch count and catch up with the fastball. There's no balls and two strikes. 0 oh, 2 the count. The white face leadoff hitter, DJ Rivera, center fielder. Made a couple of nice running catches out in center field again today. And the next pitch, he swings and misses. Strike right? three. Three pitches and down he goes. So who knows? Not ready, maybe around in the seventh. <laughs> Gets him on three. And brings to the plate Tell Bryant, who's had a couple of singles and a couple of runs driven in. Yeah, Tell's reached base every time. He uh, did reach on an error in the first, and then, uh, as you mentioned, a pair of singles. He bats with one out and nobody on here in the seventh, the sixth. The first pitch is a call strike for first baseman right in front of the white face dugout. He grabs it. That's out number two. So they retire Bryant, and they celebrate. I guess uh, they had a no, you can't get him out or something because there's a big celebration after the pop out. And now there's two gone, and again, not just a couple pitches there, three pitches. He's up to 98 or something like 98, that. 98, yeah. Gonna bring up Carlos 0 for 3 on the afternoon. Has uh, popped out each time at bat. Did a deep drive. One of those at bats. The first pitch is high and tight. It's one ball, no strikes. We're in the top of the sixth. The white base is winning 7 to nothing. They've out hit them. The, the, uh, Eagles eight to one in this ball game. Playing here on Just commenting, uh, getting a little bit darker back to our south, but looking at radar, really just looks like some uh, rain. All the the, yeah. the pretty colors have stayed to our south, so we'll uh, hope that we can finish this and maybe even squeeze another one in as uh, the white faces again lead by seven here, going into the bottom of the sixth. Carlos on the mound as he has been from the outset. There's a lot of one run. He struck out uh, eight, nine, eight. See, he struck out eight this afternoon, which is uh, just incredible. The one hit he's given up was a, a great play down at third base by Bryant, where he backhanded the ball and kind of lost his balance after he made the backhand, got up and threw the first and just didn't get there in time. And that's the only hit. Just a take. First pitch, he swings, pops it up, foul. Marcos chases it back to the screen. Got it. That's a great running catch as he crashed it into the board. Nice play. On the white face catcher, one pitch, one out. That's a good way to start the inning. It was a nice play. The ball was fouled down the first baseline, really more directly behind home plate. Marcos had to find it in a hurry, and then he knew he was going to collide with the wall. Wow, we can't see behind us here enclosed. So I don't know what it's like back a little more to the west, but to the what would be the south and uh, east of us. Definitely looking a little hairy. A little bit darker than it was. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Again, this is a best of three series. And trying to play two tonight. There's a swing and a miss. That's strikeout number nine and out number two. 
And we're back to the top of the order now with Julian Morales, the shortstop, coming up. Morales over two on the afternoon, strikeout. After? Some days I'm, I'm telling Carlos to bring that up in here, but today I'll just, we'll let <laughs> it be because they've been swinging at it. <laughs> yep. One strike and nothing. Two out, nobody on the bottom of the sixth. White base is up, seven nothing. So this game going seven innings, no matter what. We didn't get the 10 run advantage in six or five. There's the ball fouled out. And it's over. Little weather change uh, kind of started like this and then really had a, a pretty pleasant about hour and 40 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the wind has picked back up. The flags that we're standing still now are both straight out. And it's darker back to our south. The radar certainly showing some uh, more widespread rainfall, which, as you mentioned earlier, we'd love to play some baseball, but yep. we also need the rain. So, yep, we got a little bit of both. White faces lead it off here in the uh, bottom of the or top of the south. Fly ball into center field. Right. Drop for a base hit. And lead off single for Flores. No, it's some more. It's more, I'm sorry. Second baseman. One of our two lefties, and he just dumped it out there in left center field for a clean single. The ninth hit of the ball game for the white bases. Noah's first time on base this afternoon. So uh, a good, uh, good hit there, really. Marcos, who has a triple and a double for the white bases today. The white base catcher steps in. The face not already on the first pitch. Grounds it right back to the mound. Up with it. Throws to second. Threw it away. Second baseman made a great play. And he was off the bat. We're yeah. safe all around. Wow. That was a bad play by him already. I mean, he had to get right at second base. He threw it wide. The manager comes out. He wants to argue a moment. So that's not going to change anything. There's two out. No, there's nobody out. There's two on. We're up 7 nothing in the top of the seventh. He wants to go out and talk to the umpire. Yeah, take a, uh, we're going to change pictures, by the way. Yeah, yeah he's pointing to someone, so. I think that's all for not already. I don't know if that's number 109 or if that's just all because uh, that's what you had him at. I had him at a 102 there. Okay. That's, that's but you all. Get, I get, I do about a plus, plus minus 3% error <laughs> margin, so. <laughs> They're going to change pictures. They're going to bring Gonzalez, the third baseman, in, I believe, to the mound. Apparently he has a third base glove and a pitcher's glove. Little figure. In any event, uh, the white faces have two on and nobody out and a pitcher change here on the top of the seventh. Let us take about a 30 second break and we'll be right back. Mustang Land and Andrews leading 7 0 with two on, nobody out. Pitching change being made by the Eagles here. Going to bring uh, Benny Gonzalez to the mound over from third. Couldn't stay on the bag. So there's two on, nobody out. We're up 7 0. It's the top of the seventh, and the wind is whistling in. And boy, we just saw some good light in there, big light. There's a pop up, but they could get two here, and they don't. They're not going to. Wow. Gonzalez caught the little butt. Had the runner way off second base and hesitated. And so there's one out, still two on. That lightning, Adam's got it. What do you got, Adam? He can tell us how thin in his brain he registers how far away that was. <laughs> Ten miles that time. One and one count. Seventh inning, Herbert up seven, nothing, two on, one out. 
pitch way wide, two balls, and one strike. You know, you really, I mean, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but we're up 7 nothing. We need this thing to be over with and uh, take a break. And maybe some of this weather will move away from us. I don't know that it will, but maybe it will. My face is up 7 nothing here in the top of the seventh. The pitch popped up in the infield. That'll be an infield fly. There's two gone. All caught by Gonzalez. Gonzalez just throwing some. I think that wouldn't be a bad, bad thing to have happen. Ethan swings first pitch, lines it just foul over the third base back, just wide, wide left. That would have been two batter for sure. But instead, it's one strike and nothing. Again, Gonzalez on in relief of the starter, Navarrete. Navarrete worked to the first six innings plus. Curveball popped up. They can be aggressive, but you know, aggressive mentally, relaxed physically. It's a winning combination, and that's really what we've seen today. He's, he's looked super comfortable out there, but his, as you mentioned early on, his pitch placement has just been fantastic and really attacking the batters today. 7 so nothing as the Eagles come to the plate here with number two home hitters leading it off. First pitch, he grounds it into a second baseman's hands over the first base. One pitch, one out. Two outs away from a one nothing lead in the series in the white bases. That was the penny pitch. 49. 49 pitch, folks. We're in the seventh inning. He's thrown 49 pitches. Even those of you who can't do math can do the math on that. That's <laughs> not meant to be incredible. No, I think that was Noah's first action this afternoon, what? too. So. What? I don't think, uh, I don't believe Caleb's had a play at shortstop, has he? I, don't, I think you're right. Here's the stretch and the pitch. There's a grounder to third. One hop, tails got it. Fires to first. Two men are gone. Two pitches and two out. The pitch. This is a curveball. One ball, no strikes. Again, to the south and east of us is where the storm is. Storms are at the moment, but uh, we don't know how long that's going to last. We're thankful it's lasted for six and two-thirds innings here today. The pitch. And this tied away, and the uh, just hovering just away from us. Here's the pitch. Call the strike two. Two balls and two strikes. Now he's one pitch away from the uh, one-hit shutout is Carlos Duran. The senior steps back on the mound. That'll be a 30-minute break between games if uh, we can get this thing continued here today. The stretch, the 2-2 two -two pitch. That's the long game. He struck three. him out on a swinging strike three of the light faces shut him out. 7 nothing. a masterful performance by Carlos Duran giving up a hit, no runs, and striking out 11 here this afternoon to uh, record the, the first win of this best of three series for the light faces. Just a fantastic job for Carlos today. I mean, 55 pitches. Wow. 55 pitches through seven. One hit, didn't walk a batter, and uh, just just pitched the way you want. We played well behind him. White faces did, and wind up with a 7 0 win. Uh, Marcos was the uh, hitting star of the afternoon as he had a triple and a double. Drove in. Uh, Three runs, I think. Uh, a couple of runs driven in by Ramirez, center fielder. Yep, Tell had an RBI single. Uh, uh, a great day offensively. I mean, not only Carlos on the mound, but the uh, the white faces stick certainly got things going early and it gave him some breathing room out there. And his ground crews out to drag the infield, realign everything here. So, again, about, I think they told us 30 minute break, Wayne, is that right? Yeah, they said a half hour. So the white faces uh, are going to face up uh, 
with the Eagles in the second half of the doubleheader, weather permitting here as we uh, take a break between games. Wayne, anything uh, anything on your mind before we leave for a moment? No, I think, uh, uh, I think the White Faces uh, played that very well. Again, I, I do think that they look really in sync. Um, you know, they would have wanted a couple of those deep balls to find their way over the fence. And uh, maybe they can do that next game. But again, I think that, uh, you know, uh, again, for our next pitcher, whoever that is, be aggressive against the batters, but try to be as relaxed as you can out there. And, and your infield will take care of you. Your outfield guys, you know, we saw uh, Ethan Sube all day again make a real heads up play after kind of missing a catch out there to catch a runner on the bases. And uh, that's the kind of D you need back in you in, in the herd habit today. So I think if they kind of stick to that mentality, uh, game two will go their way as well. well. I hope so. We'll take a break. Yep, we'll, we'll uh, <coughs> excuse get back me. with you. And uh, we'll just say about a half hour from now, 7.30 for the start of game two. If anything changes, we'll uh, certainly get you updated on uh, Facebook, et cetera, if, if weather does uh, impact any of this. Otherwise, be back with you, we'll say about 20 minutes or so, right here on KBAN, Dana.